Hello everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect two PCs to two monitors, one keyboard and one mouse. So this way you can switch between the two PCs and each PC will display two monitors. To achieve this, I'm going to be using this TE Smart KVM. What differentiates this KVM from other KVMs, for instance from the one that I tested like a couple of months ago, is that this one has a display input also. So it has one HDMI input, one display input for each PC. And I'm going to show you all this in my video. So let's start first by unboxing it. I'm going to show you the ports and then I'm going to be connecting it and show you how it operates. So let me open the box. You have a user manual that will show you all the operations of the KVM. So I got it in red. And you have underneath all the cables that you need to connect it. So you have two HDMI cables with USB input. I'm going to show you how to connect all these. You have two display port cables. And you have your power adapter and the remote control to operate it in case you want to operate it with the remote control. This is the back panel of the KVM switch and these are the ports. From left to right you have this is for PC1 so you have a USB connection this is USB type B and the cable is provided. It is coupled with the HDMI cable and you have the display input and the same for PC2 and for output you have here a keyboard and mouse and you have a USB also port. And this is for display one and display two. So you can put one monitor here and one monitor here. This is also the audio output so that when you switch between the PCs, you'll get the audio from the PC that you switch to. And this is the DC input. And on the front of the KVM switch, you have these LED lights here to show you what PC is connected. This is to switch between the PCs. And this is the infrared reception for the remote control. And this is the on off switch. So let me connect it and show you how it works. So I'll start by connecting PC1. I will need the display port cable and I need the HDMI and USB cable. You need to connect the HDMI cable that has the USB B port next to it to the KVM switch. So this is the HDMI in PC1 and this is the USB B connector. And then you need to connect the display port also. So this is a display connected and I'm going to connect the same for PC2. So now the input cables of the PCs are connected and the power also is connected. I still have to connect the keyboard, the mouse and the two monitors. So now let me connect the mouse and the keyboard. This is my keyboard. I'm going to connect it here in the USB port and the mouse. I have a wireless mouse. So this is its dongle also in the USB port here. And these are the monitors. So this is the output of the monitors. Connect one here and one here. So this is everything connected on the KVM. So now I'm going to show you how I'll be connecting one of the PCs and the second one will be the same. So I'm going to connect this one as PC1. So I'm going to take the cables for PC1. I need to connect all these cables. First, you have the display port connected to the display output of your PC. And then connect the HDMI to the HDMI output. And the USB-A connected to any USB port on the PC. So now I'm going to do the same on this PC. So this here is a remote control and unfortunately it comes without a battery. So it needs a CR2032 battery and I provided the battery. Put the positive sign up and then put it here in its cradle and then just push it in. So let me show you how the remote control works. Now it is on PC1 so if I press 2 it will go to PC2. So this is my PC2 and 1 of course it will go to PC1. And if I press on P, it will put one of the PCs on the main screen and one the other PC on the other screen. So now the focus is on this screen and this is PC1 here, so the mouse is working and PC2 is just displaying. And if you press P once again, it will change them. So now you have PC1 here and PC2 is the focus here. So now let me show you the operations on the KVM itself. So the KVM is very simple. If you press the yellow button, 
it will toggle between one and two. So now it is PC1 on both screens. And yellow once again, it will go to PC2. And you have also the keyboard shortcuts. And this is important. So by default, it comes, if you double tap, scroll lock, and one or two, it will switch the PC. So now I am on PC2. If I double tap the scroll lock and then press one, it will go to PC1 and vice versa. So double tap the scroll lock and two, it will go to PC2. Now, if you don't want to use the scroll lock, you can double tap scroll lock and then press F1. Now the scroll lock changed to the right control key. So now if you double tap the right control key and then press one, for instance, it will go to PC1 and double tap it again. Let's press three. So it will toggle the PCs. It will put PC1 here and then PC2 here. Now, if you want to change the control back to scroll lock, double tap control and then F1. And now it is the scroll lock that works as a hotkey. One last thing I want to mention about this KVM is that its maximum output is 4K at 60 Hz. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful and I hope that this video will help you in connecting your PCs to two monitors. By the way, if you want to check out this KVM, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. Thank you once again and hope to see you in the next video.